Well, hi, hello. Today we have the Traxxas UDR and the Traxxas X Max. Etas Mamba Monster X. Oh boy. I will do some uh, repairs, which is essential in here. Especially for the UDR, I have this truck since now more than two years. I love it a lot. Skill driving desert racer, it's an absolutely epic. And the truck has X Max. I own this truck, the Excel, since four years now. So I'll do two separate videos. I install on the X Max the fast eddy bearings. Long with your spare gear cover holder. All right, because the plastic one on the X Max sucks, get damaged fast. And in the UDR, I'll install a new shaft. Actually, I have two. I purchased two. This is the GBM from AliExpress, and there is the other one down there from aliexpress as well they call it rear axle and this one is so heavy so i'll start with this one because already i used the spare one already was on the udr you know if you open these two screws and these two you will get your spare driving shaft the rear one so this will be the second upgrade from the stock udr i love this truck a lot guys first i will remove the battery tray and then use a two millimeter socket trench Screws are out of the way now, so here is the cover, I took it off, yeah, different servo for sure, it's not the stock one, so to remove this old shaft, you can see here in this place, there is a screw, grab screw, It's 1.5 Don't lose these pins Just in case you need them Because I got two as I said Two new shafts from Alexibris One Is having the Pins and the other one don't have it So the GBM one came without the pin So I will use the stock pins already came with the truck it's lightweight, almost close to the stock one. The other one from AliExpress I got is a heavier one, but cheaper as well, around 15 bucks. But it's so heavy. This material is heavy. I'll put both of them, the link down in the description below. So this is the cheap one and this is the GBM one both are same length and thickness but this one is heavier this is lighter here always I damage the pin in the inside this part in here I'll just remove this pin I already fit it to show you this part guys but it was maybe my mistake because I run it on uh, Etzel which is not supposed to be 
I should run it on 6 cell power with the stock drive train so here is it there is no pin anymore and I don't have a spare pins so I ordered different shafts so I'm putting in the GBM one I'll put it in place same way I took the stock one out first from this side and then from this side easier to fit I think just make sure you align the holes and grab your grab screws the stock one you already have and start you apply them back in all right from this side is done all right then it's already tight yes so now we have our four wheel drive back in and then you can put back your cover Close one. <laughs> Close one. <laughs> and that's it for this video, guys. Back <laughs> in action. Yes. Cheers.